Hi, I'm Katie from What Katie Did and welcome back. Today I'm going to delve into the murky world of waist trainers, belly binders and my latest haul from Wish. A couple months ago I did a video about where, whether you should wear a corset after giving birth and I kind of touched on waist trainers and belly binders but this, this video is really to concentrate on, on that garment of clothing. When I talk about a waist trainer or a belly binder and I'm using the ter both terms together because really there's the same garment and a weight if you I use the words waist trainer that's really misselling it because a waist trainer or a belly binder is a garment which compresses your torso and basically it, it's very straight up and down so while it supports your torso it doesn't um, compress your waist any more than your the upper part or your, your the lower part of your hips so really it's not going to define your waist at all so if you have just given birth and you know if you compress your torso because because it's changed so much while you're pregnant then yes it, it'll help um, push everything back into place but but if I was to wear one it wouldn't do anything at all and I have noticed recently that Kim Kardashian who was you know she was promoting the, these garments a few years ago with her skins line she is now saying it is designed for after you've given birth so she's being very very careful about how how she's wording that but you know it's, it's difficult when when brands can basically say whatever they want and although there are a lot of lawsuits going on with waist trainers and belly binders in the US at the moment um, it's there are just so still so many adverts so I just want to tell you the truth and make you realize that there there is no there, there is no quick fix or whatever the fix you might want um, if you see an advert with something, you know, a waist trainer or a belly binder saying if you wear this garment for a month it'll take four inches off your waist, then that's basically total hogwash. While you're wearing it, it might take a couple of inches off, but as soon as you take the garment off, then, then you'll go back to normal. Now our Glamour Waist Incher is designed to specifically shape the waist. And if this was, you know, a waist trainer that you see that all the mass market brands do, it's, it, it would look quite similar possibly. But what makes our waist cincher different is that it's got this internal elastic here. So we've got um, a layer of thick power mesh. Then we've got another layer making up this waistband here. And then inside we have a wide strip of elastic. And basically this section around the waist, it stretches less than the, the upper and, and lower sections, which, which helps give you the shape. Also, obviously, there is, there is a shape cut into it, but um, that, is, that is what helps cinch the waist. Whereas um, the weight, a lot of the waist trainers and belly binders you see out there, they, they don't have this section. So really, it's the same compression all the way down. And it's just going to squeeze you like a sausage. It's not going to give you any definition to your waist at all. I'm sure if you're like me and you are on Facebook, you will have found so many, so many adverts for Wish coming up and you just can't help but swipe across them sometimes because they do sell the strangest items. And one really caught my eye, which I, which I haven't received yet. I am waiting for it. Um, you might have already seen my corset review, which I did a couple of weeks ago. And now I've got my waist trainer review now in the image it looked pretty it looked pretty good um i wasn't going to fall for the height so i knew it wouldn't give me that hourglass shape that it promises simply because of the way it's constructed but i in the picture it looked pretty good but i was expecting a lot more than what i received So this is my waist trainer or belly binder I received from Wish. Um, I was hoping to put it on and show you and really show you the difference between our version and their version, but I know that's going to be very, very difficult simply because it is a tube of elastic. Um, the quality of the elastic, it feels pretty good. It's got really nice hooks and eyes on the front, but there, there is no boning on it. And the problem with having no boning on it is that it's just going to roll down. And I will put this on in a minute to show you. So if I, well, I was hoping to show you that it didn't give, give, you, give me a very good shape. But I mean, I'm sure you can tell by this, it's, 
I'm not even sure which way up it's supposed to be. Maybe this way, I don't know. It is totally straight up and down, so you can't tell what's the top and what the bottom is. So it's going to compress your torso exactly the same all the way down. And even if it did have boning um, to keep the, the, the um, waist trainer in place, it wouldn't define your shape because there's the same amount of pressure all the way down. And I have spoken a lot about steel boning before in that it doesn't add shape to the garment, it just keeps the garment in place. And this is a perfect example, whereas if, if they had have put boning in, the, in this, it, it wouldn't have folded down or wrinkled when you wore it, but it wouldn't have added any shape. So I hope, I hope that is useful to you and it's a clear example of what, what spiral steel boning does or plastic boning, which they probably would have used in this case, which have been pretty pointless as well, but that's, that's what the boning does. It just keeps the garment in place. So here I am with my natural shape. Um, I have just taken my course off, so I will be a little bit more defined than usual, but this is what I look like without um, the waist trainer or my waist cincher or my corset. Here I am in my wish waist trainer or belly binder. You have to remember that this is, you know, a cheap version. And if you go on to Wish or AliExpress or possibly eBay or Amazon and you buy a cheap waist trainer or belly binder, this is what you might end up with. If you go to a reputable website, then there are waist trainers and belly binders who are, um, who are up for the job of compressing your torso after having given birth. But as I said earlier, I don't, really don't recommend wearing one unless you have just given birth. You can see here that it's shorter than I expected it to be and if I turn around um, you can see that it's wrinkling here and this is because there is no boning. If there was boning in there the bones would keep it, keep everything in place like that and I hope that, I hope that makes sense to you. When I move around it's going to wrinkle throughout the day and flip up and not stay in place whereas if it did have boning the boning would you know, have straight lines here and here and possibly at the back and that would stop the garment flipping over like that and, and keep it all in place. So, so that is the minimum of what I'd expect. Um, it is very, very stretchy. It doesn't feel very tight at all. I think this is a size medium. And as I mentioned with my corset video on Wish, they didn't say what small, medium, large actually was. So I had no idea what, what size to order. So I ordered a medium. And you can see here, it's all, there's nothing to hold it in place. So as, as you move throughout the day, it's just going to um, fall up and fold up and do all kinds of things. So, uh, yes, not great at all. If you do have a special dress or a special outfit where you want to define your waist, then a waist cincher or a waspy really is an immediate solution and a comfortable solution. It won't give you a hugely dramatic difference but it will skim you know a couple of inches off your waist and it's stretchy so it's comfortable to wear and when it comes down to it it's how how you feel about yourself and your inner confidence no one else will really notice that your inch your waist might be an inch or two smaller than it usually is but if you feel that you look really good that will make you glow inside so it'll make you happier and more confident and that's really what it's all about of course, when you take your wasp or waist center off, your, your waist will return to normal. So here I am in my glamour waist cincher and hopefully, hopefully you can see the difference. The boning, um, there is boning, so it stops the garment from flipping up. And also you have the elastic around the waist, which gives definition to, to your waist. So now you can see the difference between a uh, a cheap wish belly binder or, or waist trainer, um, uh, our glamour waist cincher, which has the shaping bands to define the waist. And of course, I was wearing my steel bone corset at the beginning as well. If you want a more extreme result, then you would have to look at a, a steel bone non-stretch corset. And I'm very careful not to use the word a more permanent result because even with steel bone corsets, the results are temporary and I've been wearing my corset daily for many, many years now. And when I, when I take it off, basically I return to normal. My rib cage um, retains definition because basically that's 
bone and cartilage which has gradually been squeezed in my lower ribs but the rest of me goes back to normal so if you're looking at a corset to, to take inches off your waist um, it's while you're wearing it of course it works but it's definitely not a quick fix we're talking a minimum of months before you see any any difference really so it is something you want to wear as as a lifestyle thing as opposed to if I wear if I wear a waist trainer you know I'll lose four inches off my waist if I wear it every day for a month because that's definitely not true and that's definitely not going to happen if you do have any questions about waist trainers or corsets please get in touch and in the meantime take care and I'll catch up with you soon